Good afternoon, and welcome to the presentation of Understanding Stressors and the Importance of Self-Care. My name is Samantha Amick, and I have been in the fitness industry for the past 10 years. And there's one thing I find in common, everybody has in common, and that is stress. But how do we manage that is the important piece. Take a look at the slide. Have any of you felt like this at one point or another? What about this? Sleep issues, money problems, relationship issues, work issues. One of us can relate to this, right? So how do we get from this point to here, where we're running through a field, building a home, having fun? Let's talk about stressors, the, what a stressor is and the different types. A stressor is something that can cause a state of strain or tension. It gives your body that fight or flight mix. And there's two types. You have your physical stressors, which could be environmental, environmental related, which can have effect on cold or hot temperatures. You also have where it can be chronic illness or pain. The second stressor is your psychological stressor. And this could be where it's in a big event or a struggling situation, individual or a comment that was made. So let's take a look about the types of stressors. The first one that we have is our de-stress, and the one that we are most commonly know. This can cause anxiety or concern, a decrease in performance. It can also lead to mental and physical problems. But the least known about stressor is going to be your eustress, and that's our good stress. This helps keep us motivated. It focuses our energy. It's something that we can control. There's an exciting outcome, and it increases your performance. So let's talk a little bit of what are examples of the stressors. So over here in our de-stressors, we have where you have loss of unemployment, a death in the family, where you're struggling financially, perhaps there's an injury or illness. Those are examples of what would be our de-stress or our bad stressors. Yet on the other side, are you stress or good stressors? You have where you're receiving a promotion or a raise in the job. You're marrying somebody. You're still building a new home. It could be where you're planning a vacation. So all of these would be considered our good stress because we know that there's going to be a good outcome. So how do stressors affect your body mentally and physically? Take a look at this chart right here from Mayo Clinic. On your body, it shows where you can have muscle tension, pain, fatigue. You can have headaches. Sleep problems are probably the most common when it comes to stressors on your body. But how do stressors affect your mood? It can give you anxiety, restlessness, irritability, and anger. But then how does that affect your behavior? You can do social withdrawals. There can be substance abuse related to it, overeating and undereating, and then exercising less often. Taking a look at this chart right here is an individual that shows the stress relations on this person's body. Up at the top shows the level between 16 and 23, which is about the individual's normal stress level. If you take a look down here, that level jumps up to 39 and 61. And you can tell by the yellow lines going across that that person's, that individual's body was under a lot of stress. Now this individual just happened to have the flu virus. And you can see just by a sickness how much stress that can cause on a body. So let's talk about the importance of self-care and stress management. We want to do this because it helps focus it brings us energy, it brings us physical and emotional well-being. So ideas for self-care and managing stress. This is from WebMD. And these are just a few examples that some of us can do. It could be exercising, relaxing your muscles, slowing down, eliminating triggers that give you that stress. It can also be where you learn to say no, writing down your thoughts or starting a journal, at least laughing once a day or watching your favorite movie. So today I'm going to leave you with two quotes, one of them being, take a deep breath and just enjoy your life. So today we learned about stressor, what exactly it is, the physical part of it and the mental part of it. We also learned about the different types, the eustress and the de-stress, the good stress and the bad stress, and we gave examples of what those could be. We also talked about managing your stress and the importance of self-care. Thank you guys very much, and I hope you guys have a great afternoon.